All right, cool. All right, so here we go. What do we got for this stage here? I saw spaceships. That yes. was weird. So your home base in Disguise 5 is a spaceship. Oh, Since really? you're going to be exploring the different nether worlds, uh, you get to explore, you know, uh, gorgeous nether world, scorching flame nether world, um, which introduces a number of your characters. So Serafina, the pink-haired girl, she is the overlord of gorgeous nether world, and she is introduced to you early on in the story. Um, she is kind of, kind of a diva, um, but she's very. She's a very unique character. Uh, she believes that all men should kneel down before her. Uh, and when she meets Kelia, she instantly falls in love with him. Uh, in the English version, she usually calls him Sir Kelia and keeps up this kind of a noble uh, air to herself. So in Disguise 5, uh, you are going around to gather allies to fight against Void Dark who is the Demon Emperor who is trying to enslave all the netherworld. And uh, he is the leader of the Lost Army, who you'll be combating against in each of these different stages. <laughs> so the whole... There, there's definitely a theme around Disguise 5 of Revenge. Uh, okay. Sky 5, Alliance of Vengeance, right? And so, Kilia, for some reason, it's not clear at the very beginning why he has this grudge against Void Dark but there are the six overlords that work together. So there's Kilia, there's Serafina, Red Magnus, Christo, Zeroken, and Usalia, who are all overlords of different netherworlds. And they're working together in order to defeat Void Dark. Serafina was arranged to marry him in some convenient arranged marriage, and so she escapes this and wants to kill him instead. <laughs> and so... What you just activated is her uh, overlord, overlord Overload ability, which is called Baylor Gaze. Yeah. And that uh, seduces all male characters within that range. And nice. so they'll go ahead and start attacking each other, or you know they won't attack you and so your allies. So one of my guys died, and then she screamed revenge, and now she has this thing over her head. Yes. What's up with that? So, as I said, uh, revenge is definitely a big theme in Disguise 5. Uh, Disguise 5 has this new mode called Revenge Mode. And so, what it is, is it's kind of like a Hail Mary. It's definitely a way that helps you uh, if you are backed into a wall. So, what happens is when you or your allies uh, get attacked by the enemy, you have this thing called a Revenge Gauge on the side which, once it's filled, puts you into revenge mode. That boosts your stats. And with the Overlords especially, they have that special ability called Overload, which is activated by revenge mode, which is a over-the-top, Disgaea-esque kind of attack, um, which helps you defeat multiple enemies at once. And each of the Overlords have their own special ability. So, uh, Seraphina has Baylor Gaze, Red Magnus, which is the big muscular uh, dude kind of guy. He has what's called Super Olympia, which makes him ginormous. Nice. Abnormally ginormous. And he's able to just smack down people as you would expect him to. Uh, Christo is more of the tactician. He has uh, clairvoyance, so you'll be able to see the entire map, be able to see what hidden panels there might be in order to strategize through the different levels. Prinny is always welcome here. <laughs> Prinny bombs everywhere. Um, yes. You know, he's just very classic in all the Disgaea games. And so, with Disgaea 5 being on PS4, you know, the graphics are incredible. The processing power of Disgaea itself is much more than Disgaea 4 or the previous iterations. Um, because it's on PS4, it's allowed the team to really be able to develop Disgaea 5 a little bit more. One, with the graphics. Two, with the processing power, calculating all the incredible, ridiculous levels of damage that you expect from Disgaea. But also the number of characters. So, 
within Disgaea Hour of Darkness, you were only able to have about 10 characters on the board. Right. With Disgaea 5, you're able to have about roughly 100 characters, which is insane considering, you know, how many characters you're able to recruit and just release them all at once. So there are new classes this time? There are a couple new classes. There's the uh, zombie maid. There are the um, luchador looking guys. And so each of them have their specific and unique way, uh, stats and personality. And you know, Sky 5 still has a lot of the things from the previous iterations like the geo panels, geo blocks. It still has the item world, dark, the, the dark assembly, uh, the skill shop. So it has hours and hours of entertainment in it. If you are that type of person that enjoys grinding, enjoys you know leveling up your characters to be 9,999, <laughs> and at the end of the stage, it has the stage cleared and it. It has this uh, mode where it chooses the MVP. Yeah, so. I, I just saw that briefly. I didn't mean to cancel out of it, but yeah. so what does the MVP get? So the MVP, it ranks which character has done the most damage within that stage, and it gives extra experience boost. So Disguise 5, the developers really listened to the fans this time and took their feedback, utilized that to create Disguise 5. And so before Disguise, the game, the story mode isn't exactly short, but with Disgaea 5, it is twice as long as the longest Disgaea. So okay. I believe the longest Disgaea is either Disgaea 2 or Disgaea 4. Right. And with this game, it's twice as long. So there's twice as oh, much geez. text. Um, <laughs> so I would say it's roughly about 45 hours okay. for just the basic story mode. And of course, and that's Disgaea not counting fans. how long it takes to level up to get through that? Exactly. Or? <laughs> um, Disgaea fans are going to love it, one, because the story is a, definitely expanded since the last iteration. And also, you know, they're not just there for the story. They're there for the grinding. They're there for that. Uh, for those that are not as familiar with Disgaea, Disgaea 5 has a great tutorial which teaches players how to get through each stage. and allows a little bit more progression, you know, with the experience boosts at the end of each stage, as well as teaching them at the beginning, having the revenge mode, which allows people to kind of maybe correct some mistakes that they may have made in, in battle. And it's overall just a really great game to start off with. And even though Disguise is a long running series, you know how each of the disguise have been different characters, have had different stories. Same thing with this. You can easily jump into Disguise 5 without needing any backstory with it. The only one that had that was Disguise Hour of Darkness and D2. Yeah. But for those who were fans, because, you know, original Disguise, who couldn't love that, uh, they're able to go back and revisit those characters. forgot to mention. Uh, so in addition to the revenge mode and the overload powers of the overlords, uh, there is also alliance attacks. Okay. So similar to the team attacks that are in previous disguises, alliance attacks only work in certain pairings of the overlords and they create this uh, crazy animation with crazy amount of damage in pairs. So with that you have uh, an alliance attack between Kilia and Serafina creates some sort of an ice attack which freezes the enemy and destroys them. Uh, I believe that it's Red Magnus with Zeroken. Uh, they team up and they're able to do some sort of a flame attack and then Usalia and Christo work together for their alliance attack as well.
All right, so who does this guy work with? Uh, so that's Red Magnus. Yep. And he works with Zeroken, which you haven't been introduced to Oh, I don't have any. Yet. Okay, all right. But you can definitely do it with Kilia and Serafina. Yeah, I think I did that earlier. Um, they spun them around and smacked them in the enemy. Yeah, there should good. be like a flying animation. Yeah, yeah, that. it was yeah. great, yeah. I'm probably messing this map up completely because I can't read what the geo panel effects are. Uh, you're doing just fine. <laughs> Five on PS4, the graphics are incredible. It looks much cleaner. It does, yeah. Let's see, I need some help. See, if I didn't know any better, I would assume that you knew Japanese <laughs> just by watching. I'm just, I just. I figured out where the menu placements I use all the time are, and I'm just going back to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just trial and error. Yeah. Actually, you could try the uh, overload with okay. uh, Kilia. Uh, which, yeah. So Kilia is the dark hair yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't, last time item. it was glowing, the last time I used one, yeah. so I don't know where. Oh. It should be working. It might be that second to last one. Yeah. No, 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 it's not. It's the third to last one then. Yeah, it's not up active for some reason. Uh, maybe maybe his see. is active. Yeah, maybe you can see. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There you go. So his his overload ability is uh, Super Olympian. So you can see the Disgaea. Oh jeez. <laughs> You're just like, why do you have to make him that big? But it's why Disgaea. not? Why not? So he'll be able to deal extra damage. He is ridiculously big. Uh, I can't reach. Oh well. Yeah. Leave him there for a second. And pull this guy up. I'm just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so hard to like pull yourself away once you get in. I know. Alright. Yep, go ahead, smash him. Giant arm. Oh yes. <laughs> doesn't end. Just windy, 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 windy. But well, you're doing just fine with this. All right. So what's up with the mastery ups going on? It's just telling me things that I used to have to find out in the menus before? <laughs> so do you know how each character has specific skills? Yeah. So those skills level up as you use them as well. Right. 
So but like that one was like a block or something. I, I don't remember there being a block skill or a defense skill that levels up when you're hit. Because it like went up when it was hit, so I'm just trying to figure that one out. It's because I think you did a counter attack. And oh, so that's okay. That's when went up. There we go. There it goes, your team attack. Nice. I love the little celebrations at the end, too. <laughs> Say what? I love the little celebrations. Oh, at yeah, the yeah, end. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yeah. That is a large club. See, everything about Red Magnus is big. super yeah. and big. <laughs> Actually, in the English version, he says super a lot. Oh, excellent. Yeah. He's just extreme about everything. Oh, that's it. All right, cool. Let's go get those. So actually, I'm going to have to cut out because I have another appointment coming up. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Um, I can go ahead and give you my business card as well. So Wonderful. You guys have, uh, Perfect. Perfect. Contact in case you need anything. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, uh, definitely let me know. Okay. I'll still be here. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you too. Thank you very much. Let's see if I can kill these enemies. All coming down to him. See if he can resist the boulders being thrown at him. Come on. You're out of MP. Okay, we'll just. Let's... Yes! Stage clear! Who is my MVP? Oh, of course. That makes sense. Oh, the poor little Prinny was third! And all it did was blow up. It actually wasn't even here. I think that just means nobody was. Oh well. Sky of four. Or just sky five. <laughs> Which one are we on now? Yeah, five. <laughs>